All right, what's going on, everybody? Super late tonight. What can I say, man? I was trying to finish something up. Uh, 20 minutes late, though. But what's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, let's get a tweet out nice and quick. God, I don't even know what I'm gonna say today. We'll figure it out, I guess. We always do, right? Dear Stats Marvel Champions. I don't even know. Whoa! Two super chats. Almost three. That was almost a, a three connector right there, man. Almost. Um, but both William Pap and Kai, you got something coming to both of you. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. You are late, Baldikins. I know. I know. I know. I'm very late. Sorry, everybody. I was working on something, and then I forgot it's new arena day, so I was already like 10 minutes late. And then I had to make the cutoff graphics uh, prediction and, and all that. Uh, the thumbnails. And uh, yeah, that takes me a good 10 minutes or so. So yeah, here we are. Uh, anyway, William... Thank you very much, dude. Saying, quick draw, McGraw. Slap me, BG. Done. And Kai saying, William, no! <laughs> we got the double stop, my friend. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions, eh, Kai? You're like, no! Oh, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> the double slap. Uh, tell the balls. So close, dude. So close, saying all I hear is excuses. Well, what can he say? <laughs> it's the truth. I'm only telling you the truth. Excuse or no excuse, whatever it is, whatever you want to call it, it is the truth. Uh, man, currently on 20 minutes on waiting for a random incursion partner to do the first fight. Doesn't look good. Oh, no. Keldon, you've been waiting as long as I've been late to the stream for your partner to do their first move? Good lord. That doesn't sound like a good incursions run. Uh, hashtag even Hobbit was less late raid. <laughs> Hobbit, thanks for the raid, buddy. Ryan, hear me out. How do you feel about wearing face paint? Can I eat it afterwards? Is that weird? It's probably weird, huh? Um, <laughs> what kind? Could you make me into a tiger? Uh, sir, you are today Lady McLaterson the third. Dragon, you are correct. Hello. Um, uh, my name is Lady, how do you spell this? Lady McLaterson, uh, the third. Princess, I don't know, no Uh, tweet. Thanks, dragon. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, spot 250 with 26 mil for Strife after missing the first time. Nice. Xandervra. Awesome, dude. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Congrats. Brinkle Stiltskin. What up, easy? <laughs> Love you, sweets. Oh, hop it. Uh, BG pulled five star Chavez. I hear she's meh. Still trying for that six star Herc, so I could take it to rank four. Dude, I've seen. You know what's interesting? I, I, you know how we normally do see some Hercules pulls, or mm, I shouldn't even say Hercules, just like some of the previous featured champion in like the next round of features, right? Um, and it almost feels like it's a higher percentage sometimes. I did see it like a good number of Hercules pulls today, but uh, maybe it was because not that many people went for Chavez that it, it felt like it was maybe a little bit less than usual or something like that. 
Um, but I did see a few Hercules pulls, a few of my alliance, a few outside of my alliance. Bummer that you uh, haven't gotten them yet, but good luck, dude. Good luck. Uh, studies have shown face paint makes dudes mysterious and sexy. You should do TikTok videos with your face painted. What studies are you reading? Also, all right. Anyway, to get rid of King Groot's stupid armor break. Uh, what do you mean? Got rid of it. Like, you could shrug off armor breaks. Um, why do you want to get rid of it? It's amazing. Or wait, are you, play are you, you must be playing Ghost. That's the only reason. <laughs> it's the only reason to get rid of, uh, to want to get rid of an armor break from King Groot. Because it's a pathetic amount of armor that is broken. Uh, and it's free willpower healing. It's amazing. Um, but you must be playing Ghost. I mean, he put an armor break on me and I can't get rid of it. But just in that one fight, right? It's a permanent armor break if he has a Fury. It's only temporary if he didn't have a Fury. Uh, what's up, Brian? Been a while. What up, Thomas Shaw? Saying sorry to play MCC again. A new, completely free-to-play account. Almost uncollected. Dang move. <laughs> Dang dude. I was going to say moving fast, and then I started combining words in my brain. Anyway, getting my first 554 star this weekend and having so much more fun than I did whaling. Dude, the, like, new accounts, they're just always fun, man. It's, it's like, impossible for it to not be fun, dude. Um, new accounts, so incredible. The studies are the comments. Oh. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> uh, did heal 100% afterwards, but it took forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Emma also doesn't like armor break? Eh. I guess. You don't always want to be in diamond form, though. I wouldn't mind being armor broken with Emma. Free willpower healing. Still can do all your stuff pretty much, except for uh, except for go diamond form. Just a reminder, ease up on the spam. Uh, the millennial movie goer sent it over too. Thank you very much for the two. Saying at least it's not glue. Uh, the armor break or what are we talking about? <laughs> At least what's not glue? I, um... What? Uh, the face paint? What are we talking about? EG, I'm moving tomorrow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That, that must have been a previous... Alright, all right, let me read this message. Actually, let me go hit the helps, and then let me go hit the arena, and then let me read your message. EG, I'm moving tomorrow. Wanted to give some, uh, to thank you for letting me relax and have fun during stressful times. Didn't have a lot of money, so I'm applying... Uh, for the Brian Grant. Oh, dude. You know, it's such a nice message. I was gonna wish you luck moving, because moving is the worst. But, boo, dude. You know what? Before you move, take a lap. Take a freaking lap for that one, dude. Boo. Still, good luck on your move, because it is the worst. But still, boo, dude. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Uh, Alright, let's get some six stars in the mix. Let's do it up. Strife sending over a few of them Canadian bucks. Saying, BG, I got an eight star Penny Parker. Dude! Too bad she's garbage. Just kidding. We actually have no idea if she's good or not yet. <laughs> um, but congrats on your eight star. Now uh, enjoy your ban because eight stars, those are illegal, dude. Are you crazy? Uh, using the YouTube comment section as research is like crediting Wikipedia for your project. So fully acceptable then, right? Excellent. Fantastic. PG talks and talks and talks, then plays the game. Doesn't everyone know that? Pixie Bell, I can do both at the same time. Um, because, of course, these streams are 100% pre-recorded. I, I knew he saw the damage reflect up, and yet I wanted to hit him with that heavy attack anyway. Uh, it did so much damage to me. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, 
<laughs> Played the system, all caps in a dono. It's allowed. <laughs> in super chat form, that's how you know it's super. Um, hold on, wait, hold on a second. Uh, I didn't miss... Oh, no, 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 okay, okay, okay. I thought I missed the super chat for a second. We good, we good. Isn't Wikipedia now considered an acceptable resource for paper, acceptable source for papers? Actually, I have no idea. I never did any papers anyway, so. Uh, don't ask me. PG playing since March 2017. Today, we'll finally pull that five star Ghost Rider. Uh, the hashtag Blade Trinity unlocked. Finally, dude. You can finally use uh, Blade in Act 6. Congrats. Oh, dude, thank you for the buck as well. Already reading that before I saw it come in. Madrax Multi, thank you, dude. Trinity unlocked. I remember that time when Brian got spammed really bad last month and I blocked everyone involved. It was a lot of people. Are you still recovering from it? Uh, BJ asked Arnie where did he buy that boiler rolls? He replied, I'll be back. Okay. First off, who calls them toiler rolls? What's a toiler roll? Second. Boo, dude. Oh my god, boo. Sinister Strawberry. That was terrible, dude. Is Kabam ever going to give us the gold boost? Uh, I got many rank ups to do. I don't know, man. For now. Like I've said in the past, just pop open whatever crystals that you absolutely need to open. Try to hold as many as you possibly can. But if you got a rank up to do and you're like, I don't know, 200k short, then, you know, pop those crystals open only until you get 200k. Guys, I got a chocolate cake to share with Brian. He didn't like it. He didn't want to eat it. This is true. This is very true. That cake was gross. Reminding me why I don't like to eat cake. Uh, you guys credited the things you research for projects? Weird. Uh, I just copied everything and reworded it a little. Any Anything isn't wrong if you don't get caught, right? Uh, sure, Hunter. But just out of curiosity... What's the phone number for your principal? It's gonna come for that diploma, dude. You've been busted. You just ratted on yourself. This is the internet, man. Don't you know that? You fool. Uh, arena in interactions I love, instead of those I hate. Ma versus Carvis, Jubilee versus Kingpin, or Daredevil Hell's Kitchen. Uh, Mutants versus Elsa, ones you like? Dragon, the only arena interaction I like is when fighting weak-ass champions like Hawkeye here. Watch, one day they're going to buff Hawkeye, and for some reason they're going to give him, like, 75% chance to evade, 100% chance to auto-block because somehow he can block with arrows, and he's going to have the Heimdall cheat death synergy, like, all built in one. And then I'm going to hate Hawkeye forever. But for now, oh, I love fighting him. He's got no abilities. <laughs> Other interactions, though? I don't... I don't know. I don't pay enough attention in the arena to know... Uh, or, like, to, to be thinking of the interactions as they happen. Um, I mean, I definitely see some of the interactions that you're talking about. But I just never pay attention enough for it, I guess. Uh, Esmir, standing over 10, saying, my nephew is really into reptiles. Okay. Told him that an anaconda is one of the biggest reptiles in the world. I said, guess how many feet? He said, um, 50? I said, no, dummy. None. It's a snake. Okay. I'm just going to get back to the arena. That's me or why. Boo, dude. 
He's just trying to learn about reptiles. You monster. Boo, dude. Take a freaking lap. Take your anaconda for a lap. Boo, man. Mm -mm. Esmir. Uh, imagine Jim sending over 20 with the with the heart. What a uh, what a picture that guy is, dude. It's like he's digging in for his actual heart and then sharing it. Now that's some love right there. Uh, <laughs> imagine Jim. Thank you, dude. And thanks for being a good member of the community, dude. First off, super generous of you. Second, very kind of you. Third, if I could break out my own hearts just by doing this, well, I wouldn't do it because I need it. But still, it is appreciated. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Kai sending over another 10 as well, saying, is it time for jokes? No. Wait, let me check. No. Double check. No, absolutely not. No. It is not time for jokes. Don't let anyone get the wrong idea. Don't make me quadruple check, because I will. I'll turn this stream right around. Uh, but thank you for another 10, dude. Uh, hi BG, you just did a single clear of variant 4 while watching your itemless streams. From the rewards, I finally pulled a Venom as a 5 star, which is the only rarity I have of them. That's incredible, because Venom is a beast. Uh, Eric, that's awesome. Um, I don't know what variants you've done already, but if you haven't done variants, um, technically two he's good for, but, uh, variants five and six, I'd say he's, I'd say those variants are easier to do, and he's also really good for those ones, five and six, so, yeah, get that guy ranked up whenever you can, um, if you still have that stuff to do, and he'll be a great asset to the team. Congrats on the great pull. Superman sent over Buck saying, BG, tweet, tweet. My luck continues. Okay. <laughs> I just happened to see uh, the reply from MCOC. The third of his name. I have a great stream. That's true. So there is actually two other Lady McLadersons out there. Um, but all right, let me see here. Superman, what do we got? BG, after my pulls of OG Thor and long shot of six stars, this happened in, in my six star. Uh, now to awaken him. Damn, dude. Con freaking grats. The six star Aegon. Yeah, let me tell you, from experience, it may take some time to awaken him. But, uh,. You gotta pull him once in order to awaken him too, right? So, congrats, dude. Congrats. Uh, Mrock Champs, Storm, uh, P90X, Jabari Panther, Sorcerer Supreme, uh, Centrum Silver. How do you rank them? Uh, Sorcerer Supreme, far and away the best. Um, I'd say the others, pretty similar for me. Um, I don't have a, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of experience with Silver Centurion. I would put Storm Pyramid X, like, right above Jabari Panther, but not, not much above. Um, just a, just a bit above. I think she's more difficult to handle on defense, and that's kind of what gives the nod, uh, for Storm, in my opinion. Silver Centurion, though... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know exactly where to put him. Uh, I would put him above Jabari... But I need more experience to know if uh, if he if he's above uh, Storm. But yeah, Sorcerer Supreme, far and away the best. All the other ones, they're like I don't know. If it if it was an actual tier list, Sorcerer Supreme would be uh, S tier. The others would be like a C. <laughs> so yeah, maybe C is too harsh. Eh, maybe it's not. I don't know. It's average, right? But anyway. Uh, Dragon send over two saying, BG, want to hear a potassium joke? No? Okay. Oh, 
Dragon, is that a periodic table of elements joke? Dragon. How dare you dishonor the incredible periodic table of elements. You know, I kind of always wanted to get a poster of the periodic table. And you're making me uh, kind of want to get it again because I totally forgot about it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look at this beauty right here. Um... I kind of like this one actually. This has like none of the none of the details around it. You know, normally you get something like like this <laughs> with all these different things. It looks kind of messy, but also that info is kind of nice to have. Anyway, I like I like science a little bit at least when I was awake for it. Uh, but still, boo, dragon, boo. That will confuse you, BG? A bit, yeah. I mean, science is cool, but it can be confusing. Jabari is so far above Centrum and Storm X. You think so, Asmir? I don't know. Um, I... I tested Jabari a little bit. I fought against Jabari a bit. I don't see it. I I, I feel like Storm Pyramid X is uh, is above them. But they're very different champions. And this is the whole reason why I don't rank champions anyway. It's because it's like, what does it really matter? It's just an opinion. Everyone could rank their champs the way they want to, right? Uh, hey, BG and chat. How's everyone doing? What up, Jack? How you doing, dude? We need a science and cosmic champ from Emrock, Warthor, and Captain Carter. Definitely Warthor. I don't even care who they bring for science. But Warthor is the only champion that should have came from Emrock. Warthor looks incredible. Uh, I would absolutely love to see Warthor dual wielding those hammers. One of ice, one of fire, or flame, or whatever you want to say. We need a war, Thor. Big time. Chemistry was my favorite in school. I had a really good uh, chemistry teacher. I've told this this story before. Um, but it's it's a quick one, so I'll, I'll tell it again. Wait, hi, BG. Guess who's still at the office? Damn, Jay. That's a late night for you, dude. Holy crap. Um, must be working on something big. But uh, anyway, about chemistry. So, I mean, I, I was a I was a terrible student. Um, I love to learn, actually. And after school, um, like, you know, I mean, after I uh, basically dropped out of school. I mean, I finished high school, but dropped out of college. After dropping out of college, I uh, started learning on my own. And, yeah, I, I, I felt like, dude, I was like reborn because I was just excited about the world. But while I was in school, it was just a miserable time for me. Um, not for the same reasons that it might be miserable for people like if they get bullied or something like that. Everyone was nice to me and everything. I just hated being in school. I hated classrooms. Uh, they were really boring to me. I always stayed up too late at night, so I was always too tired. So I was a terrible student and I slept through all my classes. Chemistry, however, I really liked my chemistry teacher. Um, it's like pretty entertaining and stuff like that. I'd say most of my science teacher has, teachers actually, they're really cool. And uh, so I actually stayed awake in a lot of my science classes. Not all of them, but uh, uh, most of them I'd say. And uh, I still kind of followed through the same mentality though as I did with other classes where I just wouldn't do any of the work. Because I'm like, well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it like a D minus in every other class. What does it really matter if I ace this one? So I was like, nah, I'm still not gonna do the projects. I'm still not gonna study for any of the tests. But in my school, if you got an 80% or higher 
on the uh, the final exam for the semester, then you passed. Just barely, but you passed. So I did that, and you know, in some classes I was like, oh no, what if I didn't get an 80? But I always did. I always got uh, well above 80, actually. And then in, in, in uh, chemistry, I did this in the first semester, aced it. Second semester, I was so confident. I feel like I got every single question right. Like there was nothing I wasn't confident about on the test. Cause like I said, I actually stayed awake for chemistry class. Um, but uh, I happened to get a 78% just below the 80. And I always thought like it's it, it, it was because I almost bragged about it in a way. Where I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do any work and I'm still going to pass. And uh, I'm sure the teacher heard that. Um, or thinking back on it, I think I think we had like meetings and stuff like that. And I think I just told her straight up. <laughs> so, yeah, I think she intentionally gave me a 78. Um, which really sucked. Luckily, that was only uh, junior year. So I just made up a semester in the following year. But as much as I like that teacher... Uh, she screwed me. Big time. Anyway. She had sent it over a buck. Thank you, dude. Uh, by the way, kids, don't do what I did in school. Actually pay attention, actually study. Get good grades, all that. It's important. Um, but alright, anyway. Uh, she had saying, BG, Final Vampires bet on horse racing. They can't handle the stakes. I didn't know if this one should be crickets or tumbleweeds. I think I just felt bad for you because that joke was terrible, Shed. Oh, it was so bad, dude. Boo, dude. Shed. Vampires, horse racing. Don't horses race during the daytime, too? Huh? Isn't there that? Boo, dude. Uh, Dragon send over another five saying time to test your fortitude. Ready? Here we go. Rules to learning English. One. There are no rules. Oh my god. You just actually broke a part of my brain with that sentence. The way it's spelled and somehow still sounds like Dragon. Why? I just want to know why in this one. There's no laugh track. Let's have a serious sit-down discussion. I just want to know why. Why do you do this? Dragon. Oh. This is not good, Dragon. <laughs> Damn it. Boo, Dragon. You're welcome for the brain breakage, BG. That's not something you say you're welcome for. I didn't say thank you. Dragon, no. Oh, no. Uh, BG Twitter, please. Need your help. Would appreciate it. All right, all right. Let me see here. What do we got on the Twitterverse? Um, hold on. What was your name? Infinity? I don't see any infinities on Twitter. Just a general reminder, people. If you ask me to go to Twitter, I need a name. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to find your tweet. Uh, so, yeah. Sales. Center of buck. Oh, and if your name is Infinity on Twitter, by the way, then it could be set to private, which you'd have to unprivate. Uh, and then send the tweet again. Uh, sales. Sending, sending over a buck. Thank you very much. Saying, why are bananas my favorite fruit? Because they have appeal. Yeah, see that one's the crickets right there. Because that's actually terrible. Sales. No. Maybe take a banana with you. On your lap. It's boo. Uh, I hate when it gets all messy like this. Like look at this. The top champion, I already cleared the help. The second champion is just there. 
Third chance. Oh, wait, because I have it sorted by rank. I guess that's what happened. Let me reset this. All right, all right. I have to clear these. This system. I confuse myself. Maybe it's because Dragon broke my brain. You broke my brain, and then I didn't know how to play Arena anymore after reading your last message. Are you happy now, Dragon? I can't even do the one thing I'm good at, which is Arena. Uh, Black Widow Deodorant, fair for Thronebreaker pick. I don't have any other skill besides Fraggle Rock, but I'll have that class in my first tier 5. Um, I would say so, yeah. And the game's really lagging, by the way. I'm hitting these helps as fast as I can. Oh, oh, it's starting to go faster now. May have jinxed it. Oh, no, it's going. Um, yeah, Black Widow Deodorant, I... It, so, it wouldn't be my first pick for a champion to take to rank 3, but... I think uh, she's still good enough for Thronebreaker, yeah. Um, the the daily crystals alone, like, there's enough value in those things to, to justify it, I think. Uh, BG, could you possibly check the tweeter, por favor? Same name. Sure. Let me see if I can find your tweet. Uh, I can. Okay. Almost at uncollected. Any tips on who I should rank? Uh, for uncollected. Well, these two are great ones to rank. Um, because you'll be able to carry both of these champions through, uh, in your push to Cavalier long after uncollected. Um, I would not touch your other five-star champion, Morningstar. Morningstar can be powerful, but it also takes quite a bit of ramping up to, to really feel that power, especially when unawakened, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with Morningstar. But yeah, these two five stars, fantastic. Um, aside from that, Sunspot's great. Um, I don't know if you're comfortable with Ghost, but Ghost could be really good. Um, if you do like her playstyle. If you don't like her playstyle, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Guillotine's getting buffed, so keep an eye on Guillotine. Uh, Warlock's actually super good. Falcon... Can we, uh, I want to double check in chat. Can Falcon turn off masochism, guys? I think so, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, masochism is typically the, the worst quest to deal with on the way to Uncollected. Uh, so if you are able to disable that with Falcon, then that's fantastic. Um, he's awake and perfect. Um... Let me see. I mean, I would tell you to rank up I bomb, but I don't know if your 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 science resources might be uh, might be too invested in cap here. Plus, I bomb really works. Um, he's a lot stronger when you have the willpower mastery, and since you're level 43, you probably don't have willpower just yet. Um, so maybe don't go with I bomb, even though I think he's fantastic. Uh, okay, we're getting confirmation in the chat. He can get around uh, masochism. Um, I'm on the fence about Wolverine. The healing is is, is pretty nice from him. Might might be worth going with him. The other mutants I do think are stronger, but you don't have. Oh wait, actually, yeah, yeah never mind. I, I I think it's actually better just to go with Sunspot as your mutant. I don't think you need another one. So, yeah, I would say Fury, Cap, uh, Warlock, or Ghost. Pick one which you prefer. Uh, they're both very powerful. It's just that Ghost has a unique playstyle that not everyone's going to like, especially level 43. I imagine it, it could be... Um, I imagine it, if, for, for most people, level 43, not going to be able to play Ghost all that well. So, most people I'd recommend just going with Warlock if you're not sure between the two. But uh, if if um, you feel like taking on a uh, uh, an additional style of, of champion to, to learn how to play, then then Ghost is extremely powerful. But yeah, um, for most people, say Fury, Cap, Warlock, um, Falcon, Sunspot, something like that. Uh, if you like either Vision or Immortal Hulk, since you already have them ranked up, uh, you know, continue going with them. It's fine. But uh, if I had to pick, like, like a team of five to bring, 
those those champions were the ones that I'd be leaning towards. So I hope that helps. Good luck to you. Gucci, just a quick question. Got a five-star yellow jacket. Any opinions? He's kind of just okay. He's not anything too crazy. He got buffed recently, uh, which is nice, except it's it was kind of one of the weaker buffs of the uh, of the champs that got buffed. So, um, yeah, he's just okay. If you if you already have uh, a, a, like a like a team of champs build up, if you already have another science champ that you're relying on, then you're probably not going to have much use for Yellow Jacket outside of maybe a synergy. Gigi, why are ET's eyes so big? He just saw his phone bill. Okay. Megan, really? A joke about E.T. phoning home? Ah, oh, boo. When did that movie even come, even come out? He's paying his bill now? Terrible. Take a freaking lap, boo. Uh... Orange is one of the few English words that doesn't have one that rhymes. Another, unexpectedly, window. What about, um, blindo? Checkmate. Just do the side quest for four stars, but it's a bit early for four stars at your level. Uh, oh, I see. Best way to get four star while being level 15. Um, play the game more. <laughs> You're 15. You're not supposed to have four stars at that level. Um, you know, rank up a three star and continue playing, continue questing. Um, you could do story quest. You could do a little bit of the monthly event quest, a little bit of the side quest. Um, you don't necessarily have to uh, do anything in particular. You just got to keep playing a bit more and the four stars will come in Shards in general just so you're aware they come from basically all over the place um, The one place that, that that shards don't really come from is Alliance quest which um, You might be too early to even know exactly what Alliance Quest is or what it's all about, and that's fine. Um, just know that uh, you get shards from every other place in the game besides that one, and uh, you just it, you just got to be patient. You're not going to immediately start out with, with uh, you know, four stars, five stars, six stars. You just have to rank up champions of uh, different star levels. And that will allow you to take on higher difficulty content, and then you'll start to pull those champions, and your roster will just keep growing from there. Dear Brian Grant, can you tell me how to get five stars and six stars so quickly? Oh, I was just kind of answering that for the other person too. So yeah, like I said, be patient. You're not supposed to get this stuff super quickly. It will come in time, and the first one takes the longest. Um, they'll be a bit quicker after that, but, I mean, really, your first few are going to take a while, but, yeah, the first one is almost always the longest, unless there was, like, some special promotional event or something. Uh, rank up your champions, you will get there. Uh, sup, BG, just left from Silverwood I'd in Idaho. Uh, the rides were fun and the beans were really good. Should have been there, man. Uh, Silverwood in Idaho. Can't say I ever heard of that. Is that uh, some sort of amusement park? UG just became Cav. Congrats. And open the nine Hercules Cavs as celebration. Free to play. Uh, got six star Black Panther. Buffed one. And six star Venom. Damn. And I got three four stars, including Hercules, and five three stars. That is pretty incredible. Um, that's really good. <laughs> Two, dude, they are baiting you in, though, man. <laughs> They're like, all right, we're going to give them a couple of six stars. In the first batch, 
And then he's never going to get a six star ever again, but he's going to keep spending the units. <laughs> um, just, I mean, just kidding. I'm sure uh, it was just luck. Because, <laughs> yeah, most people just opening their first batch of calves don't get that kind of luck. But either way, man, congrats. Especially that Venom. Be patient. Also, Brian became uncollected in less than seven days because skill. Well, I also did spend a good amount of money, too, <laughs> for those side accounts. But yeah, had the experience. Besides, the gameplay is already pre-recorded. Oh, yeah, someone asking about it? Yeah, 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 the gameplay is pre-recorded. Actually, the words coming out of my mouth are pre-recorded. I'm just kind of assuming someone's asking about it. The whole thing's pre-recorded. GG, Unawakened Falcon or Unawakened Fury? Open for dupe. Who should I rank three? Uh, as a six star? Yeah, I wouldn't really go with either of those, to be honest, man. Unless you're doing it for Thronebreaker. If you're doing it for Thronebreaker, I would say Falcon. Um, Falcon uh, Unawakened is going to be more useful than Fury. Probably, at least. Um, unless you already have, like, a Cap Marvel ranked up or something like that, and... You don't have a five-star fury technically like we always talk about how important it is um wait what why is there a notification up here oh i must have just got america chavez okay didn't notice um we always talk about how important fury's awaken ability is but it's technically not mandatory to have it he's still good uh, for synergies, and whenever I play Fury, I try not to die, usually, anyway. So, just pretend he's awakened, but try not to give up that first life, you know? Um, but, I, in, in general, I would say, like, Falcon, still. Or just hold off, uh, unless it's for Thronebreaker. If it's for Thronebreaker, then I would do it, and I would go with Falcon. Uh, BG, Unawakened Falcon. <laughs> I looked up in chat, it's all the same comment. Uh, I just find a comment at random, and I just said, I've done that one twice. Uh, just say no to drugs. Well, if I'm talking to my drugs, I probably already said yes. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. The three champs, are you most wanting to add to your roster? Um, I want Prestige still, so Surfer, Namor slash Professor X. I don't need both. I just need one of the two. Um, and then he's not available in yet, but Hercules kind of. He's so good. He's just so good. Uh, there might be someone else that I want even more than Hercules. I don't know. Actually, I want Hercules more than I want Surfer. His his prestige is is up there. Uh, I'd be okay with just investing in Hercules rather than Surfer. Uh, Kai sent it over five saying, "Hey BG, I just hit proven today with my one two four five three star Karnak. Thoughts?" How are you hacking the game? I know they have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 star Karnak, but the fact that you have a 1, 2, 4, 5, 3 star... Mm, little fishy, dude. But hey, who am I to crap on an achievement? Congrats, dude. Congrats on getting proven. One day, you'll use that 1, 2, 4, 5, 3 star Karnak to get to uncollected, and it's going to feel so damn good. Uh, Kai, thank you for another five, though. No, it's just a side account? Oh, okay, okay, just a side account. That's good. You don't want to get banned in your main account for hacking like that. Uh, <laughs> BG, can you check Twitter? Username is Carter B. Sure. You see, trying to push uh, through Act 5. Any recommendations on who to take up? Would really appreciate the help. Sure. Um, alright, so Guillotine's great. 
Normally, I don't recommend investing in Storm, but it's actually not that bad that you did. She'll be good for uh, Masochism if you still uh, have to do that quest, actually. Claire is amazing. I would absolutely recommend ranking up Claire. Um, uh, who would I recommend more, Claire or Doom? I, I, this is tough. I think if you, like, if you already had a, a more established roster, like more champions max ranked, then I would say Doom. But actually, the healing from Claire is so good. Healing in general is far and away the, the strongest utility a champion can have. Um, while you're still kind of assembling a team of max ranked champs. Because you have to rely on, you know, maybe two or three champions rather than five. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That's the same combination as my luggage. Shouldn't have told the world that, dude. Coming for uh, your underpants. That sounded weird. But yeah, anyway, I it's, it's, it's like Doom is still so good that it's hard to say who I'd recommend more. But I think I actually lean more towards Claire. Either way, you want to get them both ranked up, but try your best to uh, get Claire ranked up. Um, who else? And Quake is always amazing if you like playing Quake. Big if, because I personally do not. Um, Domino and Hype are both good. Hype kind of want that Awakening, though. Um, you've got some other strong ones on this page, too. A couple of good mystics here, but I would say stay away from them because you already got Doom and Claire. Uh, yeah, this Warlock down here is always good. The thing is, like, you don't want to go too hard on the four-star champs. Um, since you already do have some, some, you know, five stars. Could start ranking those up because once you get to act six you're not going to be able to use the four stars anymore so uh with that in mind yeah claire put a strong emphasis on that doom as well I'm trying to see a different class type though uh as for other class type i really like hype i don't know if you have an awakening gem for him but i i would go with hype yeah, like those those are the champs that I would personally go with. Actually, Cap Marvel might be really good for you since you already have Fury ranked up. I'd personally still go hype, but uh, I'm a little bit biased because I use hype all the time. So, yeah. Anyway, those are some of the champs that uh, I would look to invest in if I were you. And then just wait to pull some, some more five stars. Uh, don't hate gaming, sending over a buck saying into the Tweeterverse, please. Sure, dude. Let's see what we got here. Uh, about to face the Grandmaster. Got these from the free caps from the event, and the free three caps are 6.3. Just beat 6.3 last week. I've been pushing 6.4 slowly all week. Today is the day, and it seems I already have my rank three set up. Okay. Nice, dude. Make sure uh, check out videos on Grandmaster if you haven't already. I made one. Uh, other people have videos as well. But the Grandmaster is a complicated fight. He's really the only champion that I <laughs> recommend finding a video for. Um, unless you just want that, that raw experience. But yeah, he's a, he's a complicated one. You're not going to understand it just by looking at the nodes alone. Uh, dude, congrats on the Thor, though. Congrats on the freaking torch, too, man. Damn. And there we go. Okay, I see what you mean. So, torch first rank three. Yeah, man, that is that is one hell of a way to get Throne Breaker right there, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats. That's gonna be huge. Uh, I saw a pop-up from Victor as well. Victor Orozco. Uh, Victor, I don't know if you're in here tonight. don't think I saw your name, but appreciate the continued support. 
Shout out to all the channel members. Uh, Nelson Smith sent over too as well. Santa reached the 1 million hero rating today. Hey, nice, dude. That is a massive milestone right there. Very nice, man. Congrats, dude. Congrats. BG, how do you use Colossus effectively? Um, you mostly want to just parry and heavy attack. And then use your special twos. But you, tr you gotta try your best to, uh... To, like, parry. And your heavy attack, it's two hits. So what you want to do is, like... He winds up and does, like, his first hit. And before he slams down his second hit, you activate your special between the, the heavy hits. And uh, it'll deal a lot more damage. Hello again. What up, Cloud Contempts? <laughs> As if you read the nodes, Magoo. Well. Who, who reads nodes anyway? What a waste of time. Uh, okay, theory was both correct and incorrect. I'm a bad scientist. Don't know what that's in reference to. Your thoughts on America Chavez? Uh, I didn't play her, but uh, the reception doesn't seem to be great uh, for America Chavez. So, yeah. I, I've, I've heard people that were really excited for the champion really try their best to find good uses for America Chavez and just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to really be there. I mean, I'm sure you could use the champion if it was the only one you had, but um, there's quite a few good Mystic champions out there. 4,000 Mystic Fragments from first tier 5 Mystic, probably going into Diablo. It's a good champion to rank up. It's a very good champion to rank up. Ha! BG literally just got the three-star America. He'll test her about three weeks from now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, I have access to the CCP as well, but let's face it. <laughs> I test... How many... I mean... How many champions have I tested? Um, like this year. I think I tested more champions this year than last year, so there's something. But that number's still only like five. I'm gonna get back to it. I uh, I think Saturday. I'm I I think Saturday is the day, guys. That I could finally post a video. A single video. I really want to do it tomorrow, but I don't think I'll have enough time to uh, finish. So let's hope Saturday's the day, man. And then I'm gonna get back to. Uh, well, then I have to play the hell out of the side event quest. Um, finish up the monthly event quest. Take care of any of that stuff. Still have some energy refills to burn. Uh, then I'll test champions. So next month's champions. Whoops. Uh, BG, which class Nexus are you going for when Summer of Pain ends? I'm leaning towards Mutant right now, but I've got a little bit more time to think on it. I may end up going Cosmic. Uh, feels like second for me. Good night. All right, Imagine Jim. Have a good one. Uh, can five star rank three get you Cav? Can it? Yes. Is it likely? No. Um, that content it's balanced around like rank fours, and even having like one to two rank fives in your roster. That's what the content's balanced around. It technically can be done with rank one five stars, though. If, if you know, if you really want to make that push. But um, for the average player, it's going to be damn near impossible. You're going to have to spend tons of resources. Um, it's not going to be too worth it. 
Question is, though, why would you want to do it with only rank 3s? You can get tier 2 alpha from act 4 um, and act 5. You can get uh, tier 5 basic from act 5. And other areas of the game as well. Um, it ain't a race. You know what I mean? Uh, wait, are you going to have it split up between like two streams or do it all in one massive sitting? Wait. What does that mean? What is that in reference to? Is that a me, Hunter? Uh, oh, oh, you're probably talking about the side quest, right? Dude, I, I have no idea, man. I, I'll probably stream some of it. <laughs> I don't know. I have so much to do that, uh, I might just... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like it's tempting to to do it off stream just so I'll go faster, kind of thing. You know, if I stream it, dude. Anytime I stream, I of course go a little bit slower than if I was just playing, and I feel like I don't know. What would you guys say it would take to burn like all thirty keys or whatever we get? Maybe like fifteen minutes each or something like that. Uh, maybe 20 minutes? I hope not more than that. Oh, God. That's already a lot when you think about it. No, it can't, can't, it wouldn't be that long, would it? I hope it's, I hope it's less than 15 minutes. I hope it's like... 5 minutes. <laughs> just thinking about, just crunching the numbers in my head. That's a lot of minutes, man. <laughs> Either way. <clears throat> 5 hours? Okay. Well, if I stream it, it's gonna take me 7 and a half hours. So, do you need to start using them now? I did think about it. I did think about just every night doing side quests instead of arena, but I don't know. Arena is so relaxing, man. My brain has felt a little bit scrambled, and I, uh, arena. Oddly enough, kind of unscrambles it a bit. You'd have more fun streaming it, trust me. It's beyond tedious. Oh, I would without a doubt have more fun streaming it. Uh, BG, can you look at Twitter? It's moon fake. Okay, let's see. I'm looking. What am I looking for? There another. Oh wait. First off, love you, bro. But I'm lost on who to take up uh, to become cavalier or variants. Okay. So for cavalier, uh, guillotine is the first one that jumps out of me. Yeah, on this page, definitely guillotine. Uh, should be great for a lot of fights in, um, in cavalier. The only thing about guillotine is you definitely have to be comfortable holding combos, which level 51, I don't know if you're quite there yet. Um, it's not an insult or anything. I'm just thinking back to when I was level 51. I wasn't that great at holding combos. Uh, I would have like 20 hit combos at most. So if you already have like your parries down and stuff like that and you're comfortable holding combos, then yeah, guillotine would be great. Um, actually, this six-star domino. All right, so this is a little bit out of order. That's what's going on here. Okay. You have Apocalypse, too, actually, so Cable would be fantastic, but you already have six-star domino. You could, you could just uh, turn domino into a horseman, honestly, and forget about ranking up Cable. Um, but yeah, bring, definitely use these two, Domino and Apocalypse. If you're good with Quake, then of course she's fantastic. Hopefully you are, since you took her to rank 5. Um, Qu Quake can basically get you Cavalier almost entirely on her own. Uh, if you're not comfortable using Quake, then, uh, it, you know, she wouldn't help you too much. But I really hope you figured that out before you ranked her up. Um... I'm hoping that you did. 
Um. Who else? Who else? I mean, magic is great. I kind of skipped over magic originally just because looking around, but magic is great. So, like guillotine, magic, uh, apocalypse, domino, quake, could be team. Or actually, well, you have symbiote supreme. Honestly, you could just run symbiote supreme, quake, domino, apocalypse, and like guillotine 2099. That would be a pretty solid five man team that could handle. Um, I think all the quests in 6.1. So. Did you even get the plat pool chest yet, BG? No. I literally have not entered the side quest a single time. I might still have the, the new banners on them. Uh, I don't know. Let's, let's go take a look. Uh, well, no. I must have clicked on them at, at one point. But, um, no, I haven't done them a single time. I've got 24 of these keys currently. Um. Can you do multiple difficulties or is it one key? You, you it, like, you can't, right? Like, if, if I use all my keys on the highest difficulty, like, that's just it. I don't have to do it multiple times, the difficulties. And then you get points for this event, right? I have to do this, man. These rewards are great. Six star sigs, the six star shards. This is going to be Hercules is in here. Can it be actually? Um, no, he's not in there, is he? Damn it. <laughs> it makes sense that he's not in there, but I was just kind of... Kind of wishful thinking since Hercules was standing right next to it. Um, okay. So yeah, do you get enough points? So wait, it's ten. It's ten fights per quest. So thirty-six thousand. Yeah, you get enough points without needing the bonus points, right? That's what I'm getting at. Is it 28 that you get in total? I think it's 28, right? Yeah, which comes out to be uh, a little bit over 1 mil. Okay. That's good to know. You just use Cap Beardo for everything? I mean, I could. I have a rank 3 one, but... I don't need to. Well. Got all points to day 23, but I use Cap America World War II a lot. Okay. Want to run one key in Epic for the pool challenge and the rest of Legendary? Oh. Is that... Uh, let me look at that objective. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Good call. Uh, so one epic, one legendary. Well, one epic and then 27 legendary, I guess. Okay. What are these rewards to? Oh. Okay. So 15% total in here. Or, uh, no. That's 20% uh, total, right? Yeah, okay. Um, in five fights with Black Widow Deadly Origin, I guess I'll do this too. Oh my god, it's this garbage. I'm like, how have I not done a single fight with Black Widow Deadly Origin? No, I've been doing them, I guess. Wait, have I? I have her as a six star, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe I don't. Maybe I just have her as a five star. Yeah, I think I just have her as a five star. So I guess I haven't been. Um, but all right. Maybe the few times I used her, I ended with a medium or something. Do you need that plat pool beast PG? I don't. I don't think so for the five star. But I need those plat pool crystals. 
Uh, Scott sent over a bug saying, P.S. Do you remember that seafood restaurant? Wait, wait, is there a different message? Here we go. I got all the points. Oh, yeah, yeah. I already read that one, though. P.S. Do you remember that seafood restaurant we opened in Oahu, Hawaii, but we only served raw shrimp? I do, dude. And that, 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 that one... Dude, what I remember most about that uh, shrimp restaurant that we had... I mean, we called it just shrimpin. Um... It was originally going to be shrimpin' ain't easy, but we decided to go with just shrimpin'. And uh, I remember that 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 whole party came in, man. They didn't speak a word of English, and they just kept holding up a, a, a picture of lobster. And it's like, dude, man, the, the entire night, just trying to explain. You did a really good job playing charades. And that finally got the message across, but if it weren't for that, oh goodness, dude. That night never would have ended. What a nightmare that restaurant was, never again. Uh, Nelson Smith sent over two saying, hey BG, check Twitter post, thank you. Uh, Nelson, sure. Ooh, hello. I'm counting down the days till we get pain rewards to rank three, all right gonna feel so good <laughs> very nice very very nice um, we're gonna have to wait it out the entire time right did anyone ever ask kabam like did they ever say on the forums like what if you just get all the points on like day one of the final challenge you still gotta wait out the timer probably right it's gonna be excruciating for some <laughs> You're really waiting on something. Uh, you can get two keys back for doing uh, for doing both of the pool challenges. Oh, really? Okay. So there's even more of the side quest than I thought. Okay, great. Because I wanted more. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, it's gonna be a long day of side questing. 80% of the time, the champ dies from Black Widow deodorant's shock damage rather than any of the hits. That challenge is a waste. That's true. I just hate that, like, you, you can't... You can't do them all at the same time. It, you, you have to do it in order. I think that's so stupid. I think it's so incredibly dumb, man. They... If they, like... They, I'm sure they're doing it intentionally, right? Because there's ways to get around that system. Like, if they say, oh, but we don't have the technology that you can uh, go for the different uh, objectives uh, without doing them in order. Well, you could just have them separated. Don't They don't have to be, like, all stuck to, to this one, right? Like, they could have um, all five of these... Um, separate. Wait, why does it say zero out of five? But then it says there's four of them. Huh. You guys see what I'm talking about? Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, God. Zero out of five is the for the five fights. Okay. I'm an idiot. It took me until seeing the one at the top of the screen to realize that. All right, anyway. Wait, do you get the keys back? Are they in this chest? Where are the keys? Anyway, I don't even care. Let's just go back to the arena. That's why that order makes it even more difficult. She places all the shocks on her lights. Ugh. I don't even know if I'm going to do that one. Hold on, hold on. What shards were those again? Grant for some Grandmaster shards. Um, I want Grandmaster shards. I think they're cool, but uh, for a grand total of 3,000 Grandmaster shards, I don't think I care enough. <laughs> Screw that, dude. I'm good. Omegu, never change. 
I probably won't. <laughs> Never did those challenges. Who gives a flying turd burger about GMC shards? Yeah. Yeah, basically. I mean, they're still nice. Great source of ISO. And depending on where you're at in the game, I mean, could be a great source of your, your next champion to rank up. But... I have enough of those things. I mean, I never have enough. Could always use a little bit more, but I have enough when that's what the challenge is to do. Challenge not accepted. Don't hurt yourself, BG. Pixie Bell, you know what happens every day. It's only just one hour in arena. Yeah, it's true. It's probably more time effective to just play arena, even though you could technically complete those challenges in arena. Like really, I should be I should have I should have at the start of the month like once per stream just throw Black Widow in. And uh whenever I throw her into the arena, just do the objective that way. I could technically still do that now, but uh, I don't know if I can right now. Anybody get the glitch where it looks like you're in the desert and you can't see the arena? It keeps messing me up. I haven't seen that, but I have seen a couple pictures of it. Um, so I know what you're talking about. Where like the the art assets are missing, like the like the the background of the screen is missing. Instead of being in this uh, library here, you're on the beach. Uh, PG, you should go duel one Red Guardian fight, so you at least get the 1k shards from that challenge. I'll, I'll probably do that. But I'll, I'll wait until, like, the last day if I don't get it naturally. PG, each completion of the quest will net you 406 star shards and 1005 star shards. Uh, for the side event? That's pretty good. 406 star shards, huh? For 10 minutes? Okay. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. Stupid game crash. Um. So 400 times... I mean, is it going to be 27? Since I'm only really doing one on Epic? Or whatever it is. Alright, so that's a full... 4 star... Or a full um, 6 star crystal. And then some. It's not bad. Or do it when you have a skill combat on. That's true. Could crank out some additional rewards for a skill combat too. It is the perfect time for a new account challenge because at level 17 you will get 12k glory and many potions. Yeah. It feels... It almost feels like cheating <laughs> for the, like, taking advantage of all the compensation, so I don't know. Um, could it be done? Could a, could a new account be done and, like, ch uh, exchange that glory for a tier 4 class catalyst? And maybe it would work out like a rank up a champion? Yeah, probably, but... Eh, I, I, I want it to come from, like, a good side event rather than just, like... The game's broken, here you go. <laughs> you know. Now let's take Black Widow against a shock immune champ such as Electro. Makes the quest super easy. Point two. If there's a quest, I'm sure there's a fight somewhere early on where you could find that. Uh, earlier, I opened my PHC, and the background was black, and the crystal was invisible. Yeah, I've I've been seeing a lot of weird visual glitches like that recently. Star just posted one on Twitter today that I don't even know if I want to put on stream because the the crystal was is flashing on screen like crazy, man. If somebody's sensitive to the light, that's uh. Someone could actually have a seizure from that one. That one's really bad.
More time for the deodorant and Captain Soviet than the side quest too. Oh, I didn't even realize. Interesting, okay. So yeah, definitely no rush then. Well, you know what? <sighs> Screw it, man. I'm gonna try to finish with a light attack. Get my first credit for it. Might as well. Um, could be good against Groot. Maybe the the shock will drop off, and I won't finish him with the shock damage. We'll give it a whirl. You like how I said give it a whirl as um. Uh, Modok was whirling around. Fully intended. Psych. Anyways, cheese it out quick and road to Labyrinth. Yeah. That is a thing. But I don't know if I care enough to go into the road to Labyrinth to do it. That's the problem. Uh, I have a glitch where the far right of my screen brightens like crazy, mostly when I have them cornered. Wait, what? A glitch where the far right of my screen brightens like crazy, mostly when I have them cornered. Mostly when you have... Oh, when you have the opponent cornered? I was thinking about the actual corners. Uh, interesting. Do you have a, like, a really wide device where maybe... Maybe your device is so wide that it actually shows, like, beyond the <laughs> the map itself? I don't know. Alright, light attacks. Oh, those shocks are happening. Alright, Black Widow. She's gonna... The shock's gonna kill this guy, I know it. No, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the shock killed him. Do I get credit for that still? <laughs> I mean, the damage number from the light attack was still there, but I'm almost positive the shock was the, the killing blow. This quest is stupid. Alright. <clears throat> well, Black Widow, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll try again. Got 16 days left. Maybe I can get it done this way. Maybe I can get the first one done this way. GG. I uh, should go into the Abyss to complete the Black Widow quest. There's a good spot for it. Let me just knock out an Abyss opponent real quick. Easy mode. I have an iPhone 11 Max Pro, the sequel. Okay. I mean, that phone is... It is ultra-wide, but it's not, like, more ultra-wide than other phones. I've never heard anyone else with that phone say they had that issue. Interesting. Why don't you just put her in duels that are pretty easy? Because I'm just trying to stay in the arena. I'm not trying to go anywhere besides the arena. I'm trying to uh, kill two birds with one stone, essentially. I want to keep grinding for units. Like, those, those shards are not more important to me than units. Units, far more important. Um, but if I can get those shards as a little bonus as I grind... Well, I suppose I'll take it. God, what a miserable fight this is. Switch to uh, swashbuckling. Don't even know if it'll help. Can't land a critical hit. Who made doom? This guy is one massive a-hole. 
Oh, so many hits for that fight. Nelson Smith, Senate 05. Nelson, thank you very much. Saying, hey, BG, would you rather be in a zombie apocalypse or a robot apocalypse? Zombie, dude. Um, easily zombie. I feel like if there's a robot apocalypse, dude, we're done for. No chance. Zombies? Oh, man. Depends on the type of zombie that you're up against. But some zombies are, like, real dumb. They kind of just walk around like brains. And you're just like, well... Anybody have a shotgun or an axe or something like that? You could deal with them. You know what I mean? Um, robots? You're effed. Tell your mother that uh, you love her. And that you'll see her on the other side. Because you're done for. <laughs> you seen that robot dog? You can't even kick over that robot dog. How do you expect to, you know... Once the robots get more advanced, dude, it's over. Now, if there's zombie robots, oh, then you're even more screwed. Uh, but anyway, Nelson, thank you very much for the five, dude. Give me the zombies. Uh, just got five-star Guardian as my 15th five-star. Your thoughts on him? Should I be happy? Uh, yeah, Guardian's cool. He's got a great synergy that gives your entire team block proficiency. Um, kind of needs to be awakened and high sig level. Well, it's not that he needs to be awakened and needs high sig level. It's just that he, he benefits a lot from it. Um, it's all, like, defensive benefits. But they're quite strong. He gains like uh, up to 80% bleed resistance, 80% um, energy resistance. Uh, so it's actually quite strong. A couple of other things as well. But uh, it's a great pull. Unawakened, you could still toss him on the team and get the uh, the extra block proficiency from him. So it's cool. Uh, it's just a game, see Engine Over Buck saying. Just had a baby girl, PG. Hey, congratulations. Wanted to name her Domino, but my girl said no. <laughs> well. Um, how many Dominoes are there out there in the world? I was just thinking. I was going to say most, most people probably would have said no. And then I was thinking, well, I'm sure there's... Sure, there's a bunch that also didn't say no. The domino in game can't be the only uh, domino, right? I'm gonna type in domino and see what comes up in Google. Who's the most famous domino? Uh, never mind. It just pulls up dominoes. Domino person? Nope. Just pulls up domino personal pizzas. Damn it. Uh, here we go. Domino Harvey. Is a bounty hunter? Oh, is this a real person? Oh. Domino Harvey was a bounty hunter in the United States. Is that a real name? She came from a well-to-do background, being a daughter of noted actor Lawrence Harvey and fashion model Pauline Stone. Uh, Harvey's fame was increased posthumously by the 2005 release of the film Domino, which was loosely based on her life. Oh, I didn't know that. Here there was a film called Domino, uh, in which Harvey was portrayed by Keira Knightley. Interesting. Well, there's a Domino. Domino would be horrible. She'd always have pizza jokes uh, or sex jokes of how she delivers in 30 minutes or less. Oh, man. Yeah, that's true. That's a good call by your girl to uh, <laughs> go with a different name. Um, but yeah, it's just a game. Congrats.
Uh, when it's almost midnight and BG won't notice you. What's up, dude? What up, Eric? I think after my 8th calendar reset this month, they'd get the message I don't want their damn staffs <laughs> for the side event. Chicken Dender, you don't want to do the side event, are you crazy? We've been talking about it all night, man. You got some good rewards. But apparently it's tedious as hell and I haven't done it all yet. I haven't done it at all yet. You're gonna give Sentinel a rank up gem since you keep getting the gems. No, I'm not. I like Sentinel. I think he's really cool. But I have Warlock. And Warlock... It's not that Sentinel becomes completely obsolete. He's been good for some of the Summer of Pain challenges and stuff like that, but... Eh, I really don't have much of a need for Sentinel. So... Uh, no, he's not going to be getting one of the gems. The gems will probably go to... Um, uh, other champs that get buffed or something. BG, I'm sick. My throat hurts and I have a runny nose and I cough. It hurts. Help me. Uh, Ryan, that sucks, man. Hope you feel better soon. I wanna... If it's, if it's feeling serious, I wanna go see a doctor on that one, man. I ain't an actual doctor. I just wear this stethoscope because it looks cool. Wait, where did I put it? Get my third god crystal and got my second five star, which is Gladiator Hulk. Is he a champ I should use a lot? Gladiator Hulk's not bad. Um, for now, you might end up using him a, a decent bit. Um, eventually, though, you, like... and. Usually fairly quickly, you may outgrow that champion. I only say may because actually one of my buddies, uh, he's been playing this game a super long time. And uh, Gladiator Hulk, like last time I talked to him at least, it, it was still his favorite champion. Like years after he pulled Gladiator Hulk. So, um, But yeah, he's, he's just okay, I'd say. He's really good for certain specific things. Like, you're going to come across a quest in Act 4. There's only one quest, and only a few paths in that quest. Um, actually, a lot of the paths in that quest. Uh, it has a node called Starburst. I think it's in Act 4, Chapter 3, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that's where Gladiator Hulk... Uh, shines that's like he's the best one for that node so anytime you run into starburst or some other types of passive damage he's really good against magic who can be a giant pain defensively um any sort of passive damage that's where he shines and until you get a few other champions added to your roster you might enjoy using him a bit Did you have to take down a thing with the node Mix Master without using Quake? Uh, you could shut down their defensive ability accuracy. Something like uh, Falcon um, would do really well. Or Mix Master in general. <clears throat> you can uh, you just alternate your combos. You don't you don't even have to shut down the node you can just play around it you can technically you can still do five hit combos as long as the opponent doesn't have limber um if you get your full stun duration you can parry and then do light light medium light medium or if that gets too confusing or if there is limber then you could just do parry light medium light medium but uh yeah if you use someone like falcon that will that will also help But technically, you could do that fight with any champ. Did you haven't played for a couple months? Who's been reworked slash buffed? Uh, this past month, we had Diablo, Bishop, and Ronin, the skill Ronin. Um, both Diablo and Bishop being pretty good out of those buffs. The month before it...
This is crazy, but I don't remember. <laughs> um, next month we have King Groot. Uh, <laughs> oh god, I don't remember either. There's been so many champions that have been buffed. Who was who who before Bishop, Diablo, and Ronin? Somebody uh, pop that in the chat. That wasn't the Ultron update, was it? Maybe it was. I just thought there was... I, th I thought there was a month before. But now that I think about it, maybe it was Ultron that month. Uh, War Machine, Maw, and Ultron. Okay, okay, okay. So... There it is. Month before was Angela. Angela was a while ago. Dragon Angela was like... How long ago was that? That wasn't the month before, was it? I made Angela videos, uh, I feel like, maybe four months ago? Five months ago, even? Ah, uh, I don't know. Time... What is time? Uh, Howard the Duck? That's right, there was the Howard the Duck... What was it? Howard the Duck, Vulture... And crossbones? Is that that update? Magu, your perception of time gives me some concern. I'm glad one of us is concerned about it. It's probably important. Next month. Oh, that's right. Venom Pool, Hood, and King Groot. Yeah, there we go. Um, I only really care about King Groot. Be totally honest with you guys. I think he's gonna be a beast. Speaking of fighting him, I think he's gonna be a beast. Um, the others might be good too. Who knows? I also said I didn't care about Diablo, and then he came out and he was a beast. So yeah, maybe I'll uh, all of a sudden start playing Venom Pool all the time. Who knows? Uh, also, by the way, since I'm playing Guillotine, you should know that Guillotine, there was a, there was a poll. The community got to vote on a champion to get buffed. And, uh, there were six champions originally, then it got down to Ant-Man or Guillotine, and Guillotine won. So, Guillotine is getting buffed. We don't know exactly when. They gave us a, a ballpark of, like, fall, um, this year, I think. I think they said, like, October or November or something. Um, and I think they're still working on Miles Morales. I mean, I don't know if they started working on Miles Morales yet, to be honest. But uh, I think they said they were trying to get Miles Morales before the end of the year. Actually, I have no idea if they said that or not. <laughs> I can't remember. But, hey, we know Miles Morales is getting buffed at some point. UG, is Sasquatch worth rank 2 as a 6-star unduped? Not really, man. No. He, he, I mean, if you don't have any other mystics, but I feel like you might be forcing it. Looking at your 6-stars, ignoring your 5-stars. Um, Sasquatch is pretty cool. In general, underrated champion. But... Um, yeah, also, rank 2-ing a 6-star... Unawakened Sasquatch? Nah, I wouldn't do it. Angela was in March? Was it March? Okay. Yeah, it felt like a while ago. <laughs> what day is it again? <laughs> Hunter, dude. I, I kid you not. I just told Laura this the other day. Um... I, uh... I thought it was I thought it was Sunday. Um, like I so I I had to I had to park. Uh, I actually had to leave the the apartment. Crazy, I know, right? And I had to park in a spot that said, you know, you can only park here between the hours of blah and blah, except on Sunday, right? And I was like, oh, cool, this is perfect because it's Sunday. And um, then just to double check, I took out my phone to, to, to check. Like, after I parked the car and everything, I was like, well, let me just double check it. And I took out my phone to check. 
and it was Tuesday. I was like, no way. How can this be possible? <laughs> Dude, the craziest thing is like this game, it, it sort of keeps you on a schedule, right? Like, I mean, if you play this game every day, the arena system, it's it's set in stone, right? We've got we've got the first round of the arena um, from Thursday to Saturday. And then Sunday, there's no specific champion arena. And then, you know, Monday through Wednesday, second round of the arena. So, like, oh, man. I should have known, but I still didn't. I was just so pumped that it was that it was Sunday and I could uh, actually park there. Sadly, it was Tuesday. Speaking of buffs, picked Drax today in a six-star Nexus over New Maw and Duping Nova. Worst of the bunch, but I knew I would not level the other two, hoping for a future buff. He sure does need it. I'm sure Drax is going to get some love at some point. So, not a bad move. Rank 5 Sunspot worth a class Awakening gem? No, I would just play him on Awakened. Sunspot doesn't need to be Awakened. Did you good luck on your journey back to 30k units. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not going so fast at the moment, huh? This is why I wasn't too quick to blow him. Everyone's like, dude, you're rich. You got 30k units. Get some Cav Crystals. Yeah. You see how fast they went <laughs> when 4th of July hit? And you see how not fast they're coming back? Although, I probably do have about 20,000 units right now, realistically. Um, because out of my battle chips here, I've got about 9,000 units. Eh, maybe, maybe just under, uh, on average. But, uh, yeah, hold on a sec. Uh, okay. Wanted to make sure today wasn't loyalty day. Pick up some more tickets. Um... Alright. You know what? I finished running my six-star champion, so I think I'm going to run one of the side quests. I think I'm actually going to do it. Did you mess with my head, though? Because our day off from Arena is Monday, but I call it the Sunday Arena because of you. Oh, Scarco. Rip. Um... All right, yeah, I'm going to do the my first ever of the side quest this month. Let's do it. Uh, all right, never mind. I was going to say, maybe I should do Epic and get that out of the way. Like the one that I have to do there, but nah. Um, what team do I want to use? I think forget these two. God, APOC and Cable is kind of boring, but it's it's just fast. It's just fast, guys. Let me change up some of these other guys a little bit, though. Mm, actually, maybe not. No, let's cut Angie. All right, we'll go with this team. Don't forget Cap IW for the solo event. It doesn't seem like I need to play Cap by W. Man, now that you say that, ah, all right, all right, I'll I'll take him. <laughs> I'll play him a bit. Um, all right. Well, in that case, I'm gonna put Cap in in place of Torch, and I actually want to put Angela back on the team for the armor break. Although he's not even high sig, he's not gonna get it all. The time. Ah, I'll still do it. All right. You're going to be miserable doing 20 plus of these in a row? I'm sure I will. Oh, man. The map even looks kind of large. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everybody said it was 10 fights, but I felt inclined to count anyway. Fist the cuffs on the boss. Okay. Eric Nelson sent over to saying, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I am now 18. Hey, Eric Nelson. Happy birthday, dude. I was going to ask if you uh, if you did bingo, but 
that's not until like technically tomorrow right or, or <laughs> like is it just hit midnight for you um happy birthday dude happy 18 that is a big one man how many units from here to cyber weekend like will i get how many units uh, i don't even know Unless I misunderstood the question, but... Uh, yeah, Cap is just a little slow. I could have done that fight a little faster, but... There's 12, so bingo is in 17 hours. Okay. Gotcha. Well, happy birthday, dude. How do players actually pull these champs? Tried 10 hurt crystals and got nothing. Never got it featured from these things. They never work out. I don't know, Hinach. It it kind of blows my mind that players actually do pull these champs. Because I, I hear you, dude. The odds, they're so low. But some people... I, 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 I always wonder, like, who's telling the truth and who's not? When they say, like, oh, yeah, I only opened up one crystal. And it's like, uh-huh, okay. But, um... I mean, I, I, I know, I know at least some people are telling the truth. Uh, it happens. <laughs> Hell, man, maybe most people are telling the truth. I don't even know. But either way, it's just kind of crazy that uh, that it does happen. Uh, I really keep using cap. Let's just go with cable. It's just faster. I should time it. You know what? I'm gonna do one more after this, and uh, and I'm gonna time it just to get some kind of a sense for how fast it'll go. BG, what's your favorite type of doggy woggy? Labradoodle. Actually, I honestly don't even know what a Labradoodle looks like. I just know, like, in Psych. <laughs> they, dude, in Psych, there's like a weird reference to Labradoodles. Um, like, I don't know. They, they're j Every once in a while, they'll just be like, Ooh, look, Labradoodle. <laughs> and then Gus will be like, where? <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, favorite dog, favorite dog type that I actually know of. Well, I mean, it's got to be the Lola dog type. That's the official breed of dog, the Lola. All right, I'm gonna blast this fool with a special two. Got me a crossbones. You want some of this? You're gonna die, dude. Aberdoodle looks like a poodle. Uh, it's never that big a fan of poodles, I guess. Labradoodle is just a funny word. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Nelson Smith, send over two, saying check out Twitter, and I wailed on Herc Crystals. All right, let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Any thoughts on who I should rank two or three after I rank three that Papa Herc? Yeah. Um, Torch. Uh, man, you got an Awakened Star-Lord, huh? I wouldn't go with him, I just had to call it out. Torch, I don't think your Sorcerer Supreme is rank 3, although it's hard for me to tell, but I don't, I don't think so, right? Um, but yeah, like, these, these two. I'm guessing Fury's rank 3, otherwise I'd say Fury, but maybe he's not too. I don't know. But definitely uh, Torch and Supreme. I mean, I got them ranked up for a reason. Champs are just so good. Apocalypse. Mm. I mean, Guillotine's great, but 
I wouldn't even put guillotine in the in the in the bunch since I already mentioned three. But of course you've got ghost as a possibility. Magneto, Venom, Claire. Yeah, you got some very strong six star champs. You need to get yourself some rank up materials, man. You got some really strong champions here, dude. Um, yeah, man, all the ones I mentioned, there's a few others that I didn't even mention, like Vision, Tigra. Um, but yeah, the ones that I mentioned, I would uh, I would go with those, dude. Super strong champs. Super, super strong. Um, let's just go with Apocalypse for this. Simon, send over a hundred yen. Simon, thank you. Say, my first ever cab after finishing 6.1, got six star doom. Dang, dude. Garbage ever since, but I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, damn. First ever cab crystal. Six star doom. Craziness, dude. Like, I... I see it in my alliance, too. Um... <laughs> if I say I only opened up one crystal, don't believe me? <laughs> Alright, noted, Torrance. <laughs> um, but I see it in my alliance, too, where, like... Dude, you, you, can, you can tell some people get really lucky without opening up many crystals because you can see it in the summer advance uh, or dude i really just call it summer advancement the summoner advancement event right like if 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 someone were to be like oh yeah i got it in one crystal but then they have like a four million score in that event alone like oh, okay sure um but i see it i see it from like maybe not one crystal but um, people will go on hot streaks where they open up, like, let's say 10 crystals for every champion that comes out, and they just, like, routinely pull the six star. And then you see someone else open up, like, 100 crystals, and they're like, remind me to never open these crystals again. <laughs> you know? The RNG, man. Either you got the luck or you don't. And it comes and goes. Everyone uh, has their wave of luck. Later, Punisher. Favorite Gus name? Sh Dynasty and Gee Buttersnaps for me. I don't know if I have a favorite. Um, I, I it's funny, man, because like when I'm watching the show. And, it, and one comes up, I'll be like, ah, oh, I remember that one. That was a good name. But, like, just off the top of my head, I don't really remember them too much. I remember a few. Like, Magic Head. Uh, jazz Hands. <laughs> I think, actually, all right, all right. I think there's one where he says, um, you know, because Sean always introduces himself first. So, he'll be like, uh... Hi, my name is Sean. This is my partner, Sean. No relation, <laughs> you know. I always think that's funny. It's more of like the, they do like a quick reaction of whoever they're talking to, and they're just like, hmm? and then they just move past it. I don't know. It's stupid stuff like that. I think there was a time where uh, Sean also said his name was Lassiter. Or no, 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 no. it was uh, Carlton. Carlton. Um, I just thought that was funny. It's in like one of the early episodes. Later, War Machine. Most of my good calf pulls have been from just one random spin every so often, but that's also because I don't have the self-control to save enough units to open more than one at a time. I was going to say, dude, you're consistently sitting at either 301 units or one unit. It doesn't go higher than that. Uh, x -Pool Dead Force has the uh, most annoying L3 in the game. You can't change my mind. It's pretty annoying. 
Uh, most people that I've ever talked to have the same reaction. Everyone thinks it's hilarious the first time they see it. Kind of funny the second. And then really annoying every other time beyond that. <laughs> it, uh... It takes too long. Still not my least favorite. But uh, I know exactly what you mean. I don't enjoy watching it. But good old Yellow Jacket, Kamala Khan. Yeah, those jams. Those are my least favorites. Uh, my favorite was Sean saying he was Private Crunch, but was just promoted to Captain. I remember that. I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's from an episode that, uh... It's from, like, the Civil War episode or something like that. Uh... Don't hate gaming, sanding over a buck. Thank you, dude. Saying, at the Grandmaster, it is time. I will see you on the other side, a changed summoner. All right, dude. Good luck, man. Good luck to you. All right, guys. I did it. We went through one whole quest. All right. I'm going to go through one more time. This time, I'm going to do a speed clearing of it. You know what? I'll put the timer on screen, even. I'll hide the cutoffs. Let me get out my trusty timer that I haven't used in forever. Uh, uh, so I just read an article where this woman naturally conceived nine babies. She thought she was pregnant with only seven until moments before delivering. She was told she had nine babies inside her. Oh, so she's an alien. What the hell? Nine babies. Also, your lettuce wraps, supplies are delivered. I need you to take out the garbage. Okay. Will do. All right, hold on. Let me let me get this timer set up. Okay. It's all set. Um, yeah, this team's good enough. Actually, here's what I want to do. We can make this team slightly better. Here, here's gonna be my 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 speed team right here, guys. These guys will keep me healthy, and I'll just run uh, Cable and APOC. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Ah, crap. Hold on. Three, two, one, go. Alright. 7 a.m. here. What's up, KT? And when I say speed clear, I mean, you know, it's going to be a kind of casual speed clear. I'm still going to be reading messages and stuff like that. But uh, this will give me some kind of good measurement. Uh, gold pool for objective. Oh, is that is that who you have to use for the objective? Well, I'll, I'll do the objective another time. I'm not even worried about it. Okay, so that was like 30 seconds for that fight. Cool. She's in Morocco. The government gave her a staff of 35 people to help with the babies. Holy moly. That's crazy. We're gonna finish the boss with him. No point in putting him on the team if you don't. Oh, there's plenty of point to putting him on the team. He's here to help uh, get the bleed off my cable. Like, I could just turn Cable into a horseman. But I'm not gonna. I don't know. I do kind of want to do the the crossbones fight again with, with Apocalypse, but... Aside from that... Later, bud. Get that concussion going. Do you like more between Angela and Cable? Thinking of rank 3 both. Also have Odin. Uh, who do I enjoy playing more? Angela. Who do I actually play more? Because he's fast and kind of stupid and really easy without paying much attention. Uh, Cable. My last Polykins. What, Pixie Bell? 
Imagine nine babies that look like BG. I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's terrifying, Pixie Bell. That's absolutely terrifying. BG, in what situation slash nodes is Guardian's Awakening ability useful? Any node where there's bleed, uh, any node where there's shock, um, any abilities that are bleed or shock, for that matter. Um, I was doing heavy attacks this last fight against Crossbones. I I'm not going to do that. That was stupid. I'll just five hit combo to special two, right? If I'm trying to go faster, this is probably the fastest way to do this fight. I also was not planning on baiting out his special one, and I'm not going to bait out his special one. If he throws it, he throws it, but let's not bother with that. Oh, he is throwing it, though. Special two should finish it. A little drop kick to the dome. That helmet ain't going to protect you, son. Get on out of here. Um, oh, you know what? Ugh, I kind of want to use an APOC for this fight, too. Yeah, let's do that. It's five star Professor X worth an awakening gem. Sort of. Um, so, Professor X is very strong, but he doesn't technically need to be awakened. If you have another champion that you're debating on awakening or, you know, you haven't pulled them yet, like Archangel. I would much rather give the gem to a champion like Archangel. And you could just rank up that Professor X unawakened, you know? Once again, not gonna bait out specials because this hit monkey is dead. Apoc has to be on my short list of most fun champs to play. He's cool, man. I, I honestly haven't even played him that much. Um. I'm going to take him to rank 3 soon, probably. EG, have you ever talked once in global? No. I don't think I have, man. I... I disabled global. Like, the first thing I did when I downloaded this game is I went into the options. Uh, I muted the game completely. To this day, I still don't play with sound. Like, you guys hear sound because it's... I have it on for background noise for the stream, but I don't have any headphones in, and it's not playing through my speakers. It is total silence. So first thing I did was disable the sound, and then while I was in there, I saw the option to uh, disable global chat. Turn that right off, too. Since day one. I didn't know there were so many Marvel characters until I started MCOC. Same. I had no clue. And then I remember talking to, um... I remember that, like, at Comic-Con, talking to Gabe or somebody at Kabam, and they were saying, like, yeah, there's thousands of these characters. And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, you guys can make this game forever? <laughs> um, okay. I also don't play with sound. Never have, never will. Yep. I never will either. It's for sure helpful. This like the audio cues. I I would never even try to debate because audio cues. I mean, yeah. Only playing with half of our uh, sensors here, without the sound being on. But I don't care. The sound is that uh, bad and annoying to me that. Uh, I don't play with sound. I, I mean, I, it's, I'm not even talking about, like, this game. Actually, most games that I play, I play silenced. Because, like, let's say I'm playing a PC game. I will, uh... I'll have, like, a like a, like a a YouTube video pulled up while I'm playing the game. Or some music on or something like that. Uh, Dota, I always kept the sound on. I always wanted to, um... I mean, yeah, you kind of need sound for that game. Um, but I think that's that's probably the only game that I play with sound on, to be honest. Alright, we're on to the last fight. So far, we're at about seven minutes into it, so... 
Yeah, it's gonna be just under. Let's use let's use APOC for this one. It's gonna be just under uh, uh, ten minutes. It's gonna be about eight to get through all this, and then I only have to do that what um, twenty six more times. Oh god. Whew. All right. Actually, I, I probably should not have thrown in Apocalypse. I just realized this would have been faster with Doom. What was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking, guys? It's going to take over eight minutes now. Huh? That's a big special, too, though. Might be just eight minutes, actually. Cool, man. Rate. Pretty much eight minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's going to be eight minutes on the dot. Awesome. And then I forgot this butthead. Ah, just over eight minutes. All right. <sighs> so. If we assume, like, nine minutes, including the reset. Um... Let's, let's bust out a little bit of math here. Nine minutes times another 26 of these, right? 234 minutes. Divide that by 60. We're talking about just under four hours. Whew. All right. Well, the rewards are certainly worth it. It uh, might take a long time to get through it, but... Reward-wise, I have to do it, man. It's too good. Um, does it say the rewards in here? Yeah, look at this, man. So, I didn't realize there was gold, too. Someone told me the shard count. Oh, dude, you get these shards, too? Yeah, this side quest is actually legit, man. Good amount of six-star shards. Good amount of five-star shards. I should stop the timer. What the hell am I doing? Um... I could actually use the gold. Uh, I, I don't mind the uh, extra six stones, too. The ISO, I'll sell that for additional gold. And then these fragments, too? This event is legit, man. Plus the, uh, the, the, the solo event quest and these objectives. It's a good side quest, man. It's legit. It's just boring as hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, I could, <laughs> it's going to be the exact same 10 fights. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be super boring. Uh, no doubt super boring. <laughs> but uh, the rewards, yeah, the rewards are good. Uh, Nathy sent in over five pounds saying, Hey, BG, is Omega worth taking to rank five without suicides and low sig? Also, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Nathy, even though it's not my birthday. Uh, I would say in general, no. Um, he can technically still be useful to you, but honestly, you would use him pretty infrequently, and at that point, you might as well just leave him at rank 4, still use him infrequently, but give the rank up to someone that, that you would actually use more. Um, I would say if he was high sig level, and even without running suicides... Could be worth it if you didn't have another mutant to rank up. There, I would still put, you know, Apocalypse, Professor X, Archangel, Magneto. Um, I put some, you know, a bunch of these champs over Omega. Probably a couple more than I didn't mention too. But if you didn't have those, and he was high Sig level, then I would say just do it. Um. But no suicides and low sig level? No, man. You're not going to end up using them all that much. So. <laughs> Thank goodness he is done with the stream. Oh, Pixie Bell. Hush. All this hate. Well, only love for McFabio. Really hasn't into rank up Sunspot. Oh, Sunspot. There's another one without suicides that I recommend over uh, Omega. Because uh, I feel he isn't too good for Act 6 initial completion. Am I wrong? Um, Sunspot is a powerful champion. He's not great for, like, getting Cav, 
necessary. I mean, he's still worth ranking up. But if we're talking about getting, like you say, Act 6 completion, if we're talking about all of Act 6, then yeah, he's, he's a good rank up. If you're talking about specifically, like, getting Cavalier, a bunch of the bosses he's not going to be great against. But no, Sunspot's a great champion. Uh, and he's for sure worth ranking up. BG, how are you, beautiful, bald cap wearing man? Is Cap IW worth a class gem? Um, and get him to at least Sig 100 or 120. Also, rank 5 Shield or Claire. Still doing variants. Also, 6.2.4. Uh, I would, I mean, Claire over She Hulk for most people. They're both good options, but yeah, I would say Claire. As far as Cap goes, it's complicated with Cap, man. Can he be worth awakening? Yes. In general, do I recommend it? Only if you need it. He can be played unawakened for, you know, 90% of the fights that he's. You know, that you want to use him for. Um, well, depending. At a certain point, I feel like our rosters get to the level where we kind of only end up using Cap when he's awakened. Uh, and the fights where you don't need his awakening ability, we actually don't use him. But while you're still growing your roster, and if you don't have like a bunch of champions at rank 5 yet... And you're, you know, you could just use Cap on Awaken for, for most fights. Um, that said, it, it kind of depends on what, who else you're debating on using that gem on. If you don't have anyone, if you don't have anyone today and you're not saving it for a future Awakening, like for Void or something like that, um, he, he's, he's the type of champion that it's like a good long-term investment. Where even if you can only get him to SIG 100 or 120 today, as you pull in additional SIG stones, just keep pumping all the science ones into him. He'll be SIG 200 before you know it. And yeah, he could be a, uh, a good champion to awaken. But um, I would, if like, here's the way I would go about it. Here, actually, I think I did do this with my cap. Actually, it's a long time ago. I don't remember. But I would literally hold on to the gem and stones. Play your cap unawakened, and if you run into a quest where you're like, damn, dude, it'd be so nice if cap was awakened, put a tech champion on a team, get some petrifies out, something like that. Well, awaken him. Uh, awaken him, toss the six stones in, but you don't need to do it so far in advance. You know, you could literally do it that instant, as long as you're holding on to those resources. Use my generic six-star awakening gem from Abyss on Cap IW and have no regrets. Well, that's because your name's Cap Bay. I feel like you had to do it. <laughs> What's up, Cap? Uh, also, don't have him as a five-star. Was able to max sig him and take him straight to rank three, though. So there's that. Damn, dude. That is a beefy cap right there, man. That is a very beefy cap. In general... I do think it's good to, to have a SIG 200 cap at your disposal, whether it's a 5 or a 6 star. But it's one of those things where, like I said, you don't really need to rush into it. And you can just play him unawakened for a while. Are you excited about the new Psych movie? Of course. Hell yeah, I am. Um, Alright, on that note though... It's time to go, guys. It is very late. Not only did I start the stream late, but I stayed way later than normal. So um, I am going to head on out of here. I'll be back uh, tomorrow, normal time. Back to editing. I'll see you guys then. Before I go, though, shout out to kai for being today's biggest d once again kai you still in here i don't oh yeah kai is still in here saying uh bg look behind you it's my hopes and dreams dang gone just like that huh <laughs> hopes and dreams never to be seen again <laughs> all right anyway thank you dude thank you everyone else as well much appreciate the support as always guys and uh i'll see you all tomorrow
Night, everybody.